we are left with the only viable, credible, reasonable, reliable option left. That is the third major aspirant that you know. Vote value, vote credibility, vote viability, vote authenticity, vote honesty, vote integrity, vote humility, vote simplicity. I'm pretty sure you all heard what uh, Pastor Paul Eneche said. Pastor Paul Eneche of Dunamis International Gospel Church uh, Center, uh, which is located in Abuja, has said it all. We do not have another option. The only viable option we have at the moment is to go for the man who is authentic, credible, reliable, reasonable, honest, and humble. That is the only option we have. And that is the option you should pick, is to go for Mr. Peter Obi of Labour Party. Go for Peter Obi. Peter Obi is the only option we have at the moment. There is no other option. Rita Ba has given a prophecy that God gave him again. That he saw this election and he saw Peter Obi and he saw winning and he saw they took it away and he saw the youth read my, read my words I don't speak words any man that stayed year in year out indoor is not like you sir I'm not like your pastor or your professor I don't have anything kind to think of all my thinking are spiritual my people you heard what uh, prophet Rita Bai said we all have to go on our knees and pray because uh, he is not the only man who has uh, prophesied that uh, there's going to be problems uh, during the election. Because uh, they know that uh, Peter Obi is going to win and they're going to kick against it. My people are going on Akroika. Pastor Paul NHS said the same thing that uh, there's going to be crisis during this election. My people, let's go on our knees and start praying so that um, this election, nobody will die. Let us pray that this election will be peaceful because we don't want any troubles anywhere. We don't want, you know, we don't, we don't want fight. We don't want war. Let this election be conducted peacefully. I'm so happy the way the ministers of God in Nigeria and even outside Nigeria are reacting to uh, Mr. Peter Obi coming up, you know, to campaign for the presidential candidate in Nigeria. Why most uh, men of God in Nigeria are supporting uh, Peter Obi is because the ones that were there before, they didn't perform well. They did not perform well in any way. Instead, things went very, very bad. The way Nigeria used to be has changed to something else. Nigeria was not like this before. If you look back before the regime of all these nuisance, Nigeria wasn't like this before. Things have really gone from bad to worst. So the men of God are seeing in spirit. They are seeing beyond what you as a human being cannot see. And that is why most of them are crying out that people should go for Peter Obi. People should vote for Peter Gregory Obi, because he is the only man, according to them, he is the only man, according to the men of God, he is the only man, according to Moa, he is the only man, according to some Nigerians, that is capable of sorting Nigeria out.
because Nigeria as a nation needs a capable hand to sort them out. So it's not anyhow person that can put Nigeria back to normal. It's not all these old men that can put Nigeria back to normal, back to what it used to be. People with vibrant minds. People who their minds are very, very sharp and hot. No be dumb brain. Dumb brain can't do anything because that brain is old. Let's give this man a chance and then we'll see what will happen. Let's give this man a chance. We have given so many of them chances, but what happened at last? They put us, you know, into a, a state of, you know, uh, confusion, difficulties, you know, a, a state that we didn't even expect that we're going to be into. Like today, Naira is very, very scarce. We didn't expect that. People have their money in the bank. They cannot withdraw it. People are dying. There's no money for them to eat food. People are working so hard, but they can't see the money. Some people want to travel. There is no money for them to make that journey. Some people are losing employment because they can't go to work. They cannot travel to work. You think we should still be voting for this kind of, uh, 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 this kind of men? No. We have to deviate. We have to change our plan. If you had a plan of voting for Atiku or Tinubu, you have to make a U-turn. Make a U-turn and go for Peter Obi. Peter Obi has come to be our saving grace. Peter Obi has come to save Nigeria. Go for Mr. Peter Obi. Vote for Mr. Peter Obi on Saturday, the 25th of February. My people, thank you so, so much. Thank you for the turnout. Uh, when I posted my last video, it shows that Enwere Mado, it shows that I have people. You see, sometimes I say my people because I know I have supporters. I know I have people who support me in all levels. If I'm deviating, I'm doing something not really, really good. You guys know how to support me. God bless you all. I just removed my cap. Thank you so much. I will never. I have friends across the divide. They are there. They are my friends. But most of them are supporting because of what they want to get. They know that they are, who they are supporting is bad. They know. But it's because they want to get. For you to support a man and you have nothing to gain, it shows that you are honest. My people, you all heard what Apostle Justin Suleiman just said. For you to support someone and you're not going to gain anything at the end of the day, it means you are real. My support to Mr. Peter Obi is just from my heart. I'm not being sponsored in any way. I'm not being paid in any way. Mr. Peter Obi has not bribed me in any form. I'm just doing it to help my people. I'm doing it to free my people from this bondage. For how many years now these people have caged us? Listen, we are not those who make noise on social media. Karen, no, we work at the background. We support. We are fully. If you like, vote something else. Is See me, I hardly stay in the country. I hardly stay in Nigeria. A whole year, I can stay 80 days or 60 days. I'll be going and coming and be looking at you. If you vote, if you go and vote nonsense, 
you vote insecurity, tribalism, bigotry, ethnicity, if that's what you are going to vote. Are you following me? Just tell me one of the reasons why you don't want Mr. Peter Obi to be the president of Nigeria. Just tell me one of the reasons you think that Mr. Peter Obi is not suitable to uh, manage Nigeria as the uh, uh, as the head of the states. Just tell me one of the reasons you think that Mr. Peter Obi hasn't got the qualifications and the qualities of a president. If you want to continue to live in your old ways, if you want to continue to dwell in hardship, in poverty, go for the same people that you used to vote for. But if you want liberation, Mr. Peter Obi has come to put a stop to all this kidnapping, you know, insecurity, uh, hardship, killings. There are a lot happening in Nigeria. That's the man to end those immoralities. He's the man that God has sent. I keep saying it. God has sent Mr. Peter Obi to come and deliver Nigeria. Peter Obi is the one to conduct deliverance on Nigeria. There's no that person that can do it as God has directed, except Mr. Peter Obi. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Just clear. Clear. Let Mr. Peter Obi do his work. Just watch. Give him the chance. On Saturday, 25th of February, go and vote for Peter Obi. And your life will never remain the same. I'm just telling you. Your life will never remain the same. You will not be paying thousands of naira to have security around your house. You will not be going on air instead of traveling through a cheaper transportation route, which might be, you know, depending where you're going to by road. As it stands now, you know, uh, flights are very, very expensive. Sometimes you cannot even get a ticket because there's no seats available. You have your car, but you can't drive by road because the bandits are there, because the kidnappers are there. Most of us are scared of our lives. Most of us cannot even go to bed and sleep at night because we are not sure of what will happen. Because you voted the wrong people. That is why all these things have been happening to us. We put the wrong people in position. That is why all these things are happening to us. They refused to give jobs to young people. They refused to help the needy. They refused to hear the cry of the masses. If you do good to people, they will not harm you. If you try and get all these boys off the road and, you know, give them job, they will not be doing kidnapping. Some of them are doing it just because they are just suffering. If you ask most of them, they will say it's condition that pushed them into that. It's not good to do those things, my brothers, my sisters. If you're still kidnapping people, Stop. It's not good. But what I'm saying is that Mr. Peter Obi will come and help Nigerians. There will be no troubles, no kidnapping, 
no murders, no killings, no dropping out from school because you can't afford money for your education. No strike. Because most universities, instead of staying three years or four years in university, some of them will be there and marry. Some of them will be there, you know, have children while still in university because it took them a long time to graduate. That's not the kind of life we want to live. Fight for our people so that we can have a better life so that we can have a better life, a stress-free life. Don't allow the same group of people to be managing us. Enough is enough. Give Mr. Peter Obi a chance.